Hey, what's up and welcome to Hack My Growth. In this episode, we're gonna be looking at adding multiple schema types to a page. All right, let's go. Are you looking to grow your business but you're not sure where to start? That's where we come in. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time watching or maybe you've been watching a while and you have not yet subscribed, please do so now. We would love to have you join our community. So today's video comes from a recent user who was watching a video and, and had this question. They want to know, could they add multiple schema types to a page? Well, spoiler alert, yes. And in this video, we're going to talk about why you can do that and how you actually accomplish that. So there are a number of common schema types that website owners, SEOs, marketers leverage in order to mark up their content to help search engines better understand their content and also rank for those rich features in search. Now, they're like articles, books, breadcrumbs, events, there's FAQ, how, how to, local business products, reviews, and videos. So these are just a few of the options we have available, but these are some of the more common types. Now, the cool thing is these can all be combined to help clarify our pages, what they're about. And some of these uh, actually have, can stack with inside of each other. So here's a list of some common schema types, you know, things like articles and books and breadcrumbs and how to's and organizations or business uh, product reviews, things of that nature. Now, the cool thing is we can actually stack and leverage multiple schema types on a page to better mark up that page and help the search crawlers understand our content. Now what's cool is some of these pages or some of these types already have nested information in them. So for instance, we've got something like product, right? You'd have a product on your page and inside that we would nest a review of that product. So this is an instance where you would actually have one line of code or, or one stacked version of your JSON LD and inside that you would contain both product as well as a product review. It's naturally set up that way. Now other types are not nested, and this may be uh, like uh, a website, right? Where it's just the website markup, you're telling it that it's a website and that it has search capabilities. Um, maybe you have a video object and uh, that's, that's not necessarily straight up the website, it's very different. So as you can see here, we have three different types of structured data stacked together, and they're all adding different elements to the page, different markups, different context to that page. So like I said, in one instance they're nested, in other instances they're not, and it's okay to stack those ones that are not nested. The cool thing about JSONLD is it's just data. It's not adding anything else to your page, it's just adding a data line for the crawlers to read and to have more context. So it's not going to slow your page down, it's not going to mess anything up, it's just going to add more context and value. Alright, so how do we actually achieve this? So I went ahead and uh, I pulled up, this is our uh, our testing site or the site that we use here a lot just to show how things work and what we want to do is add a couple different types of schema. So you can go over to schema.org and move through all the different uh, types here and work through it. Honestly, I think that Merkle did a really good job on this tool, technicalseo.com. It helps mark up and generate markup for you. I use it all the time. Um, shortcuts are great here on the internet and you gotta shout out to the people that uh, make some really cool stuff. All right, so the first thing we're looking up here is website markup. And the reason this is important is not everything online is a website. Sometimes it's a PDF, sometimes it's a progressive web app, sometimes it's software, and sometimes it's a website. So this helps crawlers know that, okay, I'm on a website. And uh, that can be very helpful with how they approach the crawling of that website. Basically, you've created this code, and, and if you want to put it on every page of your site, you can do that. You just copy this text right here, or this, this code, and you can drop it in your header. Uh, if you're using WordPress plugins, there are plugins that do this as well. My favorite is SEO Press. I will add a script, uh, add a link to that in here, and you can build out a lot of different schema types and then tell it exactly where you want it to show. But as you can see, this is pretty simple. We have the hierarchy here where it's website, uh, the information, the, what's the name, what's the URL. And then it has something like called potential action. So if you have a search feature on your website, you actually can add in what that search URL would be, and that would actually show uh, exactly how search is done and, and let the crawlers know that you have search functions on your website. Pretty simple, straightforward. This is something you're not gonna add a lot of different layers to. You're just going to add this to the site to mark it up as a website. Now what you could also do is add a product to your site, right? And now you can see that this right here, this code is much longer and we've got a number of different things going on like we've talked about. We've nested uh, ratings and reviews within this specific product schema. 
So we've taken our product and we've written about it here. And as you can see, I can pull it out. Say it's a website template. Here's like, you would have an image of the product, a description, your SKU, your identifiers. You need these two things or it's gonna trigger a warning. So if you don't have SKU, don't have identifier, create some for them, you know, make sure you have them. Even if you have a SaaS product, you're going to need to have these because honestly, this, this structure is more geared towards physical products than it is towards web products. But if you have SKUs, have um, product identifiers, these, those need to be in there, you're gonna get a warning. Then you can add your brain, uh, what it is, you know, your brand, um, your brain. <laughs> you can add your brand in here. Uh, and then we can talk about offers. So what's the offering? Um, and so for right now, let's say it's only valid till this time. We're having a price right now. This is the currency. Obviously, this is crazy. I'm not actually selling anything. This is all for, for training purposes. But you can see, you can set an offer and say we have this price valid to this time. And again, you're just adding more context. And now we can say these are the average views. And now we've nested in a review below that from Joe Smith. We can't believe how awesome everything is. And uh, there's author type, publisher type. So in this one string, you're looking at product, right? And there's a hierarchy to the whole thing. So product is the type. Within products, we have offers. Within that, we also have uh, products. We also have aggregate ratings. We also have reviews. And then within reviews, we have a review rating. We also have the author of the review and the publisher of the review. So all of these things can be nested within each other. And then you take this one script and then you would install that as well in the head of your website. Another option is to do something like this, like this is a professional services, a local business schema. And again, this is also going to have nesting in it as well. So we have a type professional services, the name, the image of the company, the URL, phone number, the price range. And this isn't no numerical price range. In this case, you're actually gonna use dollar signs. So like four is very expensive, one's not very expensive. You're gonna have your address. You wanna have your geo coordinates. This is really important for local businesses and local SEO. And then we've nested in the hours of operation, uh, the days of the week that were available. Now, one of the things to notice when you're adding those in is making sure that you're using uh, the 24 hour time frame, the military time. But each of these right here would be, you know, uh, nested underneath professional services as more information attached to it. And now again, that's all right here within one string of, of, of JSON LD. And you could copy and paste these into the top of your website. Um, you can use a WordPress plugin to pull this off. If you don't have access to code, you can also install this with Tag Manager using uh, the JavaScript uh, wrap that, that we've created and provided in some other videos. That would be your last option. The first would be directly onto the site. Uh, that's probably the best way to do it. It's easiest for the crawlers, but they still can read it, uh, whether you use that or you use our JavaScript triggered uh, JSONLD tag for Tag Manager. But that's it. You can add multiple of these onto your site and then once they're on there, make sure you, you always test them right here before, test your code, and then test your URL after to make sure that they are showing up correctly and you're not getting errors or warnings. It's important to make sure that your, your, strips, your, your, your scripts and your code is clean. It's gonna help the crawlers. It's, it's also just gonna make sure that everything is giving the information the right way. If you guys have any other questions, please comment below. I'd love to continue this conversation with you online. Until next time, happy marketing.